A lot of what you do when working with Gen AI is giving instructions. So today I thought I'd show you one of the ways I like to practice and improve this skill using Open Interpreter. Open Interpreter can execute code on your local machine. So I just find this more interesting than just giving instructions to like ChatGPT. So yeah, let me just show you how you can do this too. This video was sponsored by HubSpot. Okay, so here is kind of how I like to do this. I like to create these challenges that I will try to solve using just Open Interpreter. So here you can see I kind of have four different challenges that we're going to do today. So the first one is basically just manipulating like text and files, creating some Python files, running the Python files in the code interpreter. So you can see we're going to list the current work directory, list all files, read a text file, write the contents from a text file into a Python file and run this file and stuff. So yeah, we're going to do that. And we have this ChatGPT challenge. This is something I just create with ChatGPT. So we're going to do some web scraping and content aggregation. So we're going to write a script to scrape news headlines from a website. So I'm not going to write the script. I'm going to instruct Open Interpreter to write the script, right? So we're going to extract the content, summarize the article, generate a PDF. And on challenge three, we're going to edit our simple videos. We're just going to find the working directory, find the MP3 file, and speed it up two times. And the last challenge is going to be to edit an image. So again, we're just going to find the file, crop it 50% and change the color to black and white. So basically, this is something what we are going to do today. And this is how I like to do it. Like I don't do it like structured like this, but I just find a challenge and try to complete it. Just giving instructions to the LLM, right? Before I show you how to install Open Interpreter, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Have you ever felt like there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done? Well, HubSpot is here to revolutionize your workday with their latest free ebook, Supercharge Your Workday with ChatGPT. This invaluable guide is all about boosting efficiency with AI, offering concrete tips and strategy tailor made for the modern professional. What stands out to me about this guide is how it zeroes in on leveraging AI not just to enhance but truly transform your daily work life. Instead of broad AI concepts, HubSpot delivers specific actionable solutions designed to streamline your task and decision making processes. One section that really caught my attention shows you how to seamlessly integrate integrate ChatGPT into your workflow. From organizing your to-do list to prioritizing tasks and even managing time more efficiently, the ebook walks you through using AI to make every minute of your workday count. If this sounds interesting to you, click the link in the description to grab your free copy of the ebook today and start exploring how AI can make your workday more productive, organized and maybe even a little bit more enjoyable. A big thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to where we left off. So let me show you how you can install Open Interpreter. So it's very easy to set up. Uh, just go to the website, Open Interpreter. Interpreter.com. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So basically how to install it just pip install open interpreter and that's basically it then you are ready to go. So the way I use this I use this on a local model. So I run this on LM studio. So again very easy to set up. I'm just gonna run interpreter dash dash local and basically that's it. That's all I have to do. We can do some adjustments in the config file. That I'm gonna show you. So basically this is how I use it. So yeah takes five minutes to set up. Okay, so this is how I have set up my config.jaml. So basically I put safe mode to off. So yeah, I don't kind of recommend that, but just that's the way I do it. And I set offline to true. So if true, we'll disable some online features like checking for updates. Yeah, I just did that. So if we go over to the terminal here now and we run, uh, let me run, I think it's just interpreter dash dash local, right? Okay. So you need to run LM Studio in the background, right? Uh, okay, so we can just follow this. So I have LM Studio here. I have a Mistral 7B model ready to set up. So I'm just gonna start this server here. Okay, so we can remove that. Yeah, this is running. So we can just exit this again and just run it again. So now we should be ready to go basically on our local machine. And yeah, that should work pretty, pretty good. So let's test it. Hello? Yeah, print, hello Chris. Okay, run this code. Yeah, this is working. So yeah, pretty cool. So now we are actually ready to just start our first challenge. Okay, so let's get started with challenge one. So you can see it here on the right. So the first thing we're gonna do is use a PyCode to find our current working directory, right? Uh, yeah, that looks good. Hopefully this works. Uh, yep, perfect. List all the files in the current working directory. So I'm just going to use um, PyCode to list all files in the current working directory. Uh, yep, perfect. Okay, so we want to read a file in this directory called uh, got 
to go.txt. So use PyCode to read the file uh, gtg.txt. Okay, yeah, we can see that. And now we want to write the contents from this file into a file name uh, named agi.py. Okay, use PyCode to write the contents of gtg.txt into a new file named agi.py. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, find a way to run agi.py. I want to check if we have it first, so use PyCode to list all files in the directory. Okay, uh, we have agi.py, yeah, perfect, so you can see it here. So how should we run this now? Uh, brainstorm ways to run agi.py. Uh, you can try using the exact function, okay, okay, try the Yay! Write a Python code to do count to 100. Now, create a new py file from the contents from the ahi.py. Run the new py file to win. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so let's do this in two steps. So, here is the challenge. Use py code to create a new .py file named count.py. The content of count.py should be content printed from the agi.py. So let's try this. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so let's use pycode to list all files in our current working directory. Let's see if we have... Okay, so you can see we have the count.py here. All we have to do now is run it, yeah, and finish this challenge. So great, now run the Python file count.py in the terminal, python.py, okay, so let's do this. Okay, that was weird, let's try again. Yes, yay! <laughs> okay, so you can see we counted to 100 here, so perfect. Yeah, I guess that was challenge one, done. Okay, so let's take a look at challenge two here. So the first thing we want to do is write a script to scrape news lines from a website. So I have selected theverge.com. So let's start by that. So I think we're just gonna jump straight into this. I guess we could start, use um, PyCode to find our current working directory. I just like to set that so we kind of know where we are. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is Use PyCode to write a script to scrape three H2 headlines from the website, theverge.com. So I want to add a Mozilla user agent, return the URL and the headlines, save them into a text file called theverge.txt into the CBD. So I kind of added, so I just want to save this. So let's try this and see what happens. So you can see it's writing the code now, it's adding the user agent. Okay, so it's creating a text file and it's adding the URL. So I think we're just gonna try this. It looks okay, but yeah, let's run it. Okay, so you can see we have three headlines. We just got the website URL. Let's ask for the article URLs maybe. So let's follow up with good. Can you use PyCode to find the URLs to the three headlines? You can also see we got a text file named the words and here is kind of our three headlines. So yeah, let's try this and see what happens. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so we have a, an error. So let's try to not run this, but uh, let's try implement the fix for line 31 and run the full code. Okay, that looks better. So now we kind of have some headlines, some URLs here. Let's just try print the full URL of headline one. So add https the virtual com in front of the URL. Okay, so let's try it. So let me copy that. Let's go over here. Okay, open a new, let's paste it. Yeah, 
Perfect. Okay, so the next task now is gonna be to scrape the content of this URL, right? So let's go. Good, that worked. Now use PyCode to scrape the content of the URL for headline one and save it to a text file named article.txt. So it's index one. Uh, okay, let's try that. So let's check it. Okay, so we have a text file named article one. Let's open that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yep. This is exactly what we needed. Perfect. So that means we only have one step left. And that is to summarize the article and turn it into a PDF. So let's try to do that in kind of one step, right? Okay, so you can see article1.txt. So use PyCode to read this file, right? Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so write a detailed summary of the text. Yeah, that's not good, but let's just... Let's just use that. It doesn't really matter. So use PyCode to set the summary to a text file in msum.txt in our CVD, right? Okay. Use PyCode and the PDF lib to convert the sum.txt into sum.pdf. So let's try that. Okay, so let's see if that worked. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, very good. So I would say that challenge is completed. Okay, so let's fire this up here now. So the first thing I want to do is find our current uh, working directory. Use PyCode to find our current uh, working directory. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that looks good. So we are in this directory. So now I want to use PyCode to list uh, files in this, in the current work directory. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Yes, this is our files. Okay, good. Now I want to edit a mp4 file. Can you use PyCode to two times speed up the grovid.mp4 file? I prefer MoviePy. Mm, yeah, let's try it. Try a different angle. Nope, brain dorm a uh, fix for line twenty four. Try a different module. So we're gonna save it too. Okay, let's try that. Yes, run this. Uh, yeah, you can see this is running. Okay, so we have a new file here. Let's see. Yeah. So this is, this is 10 seconds. This is 4 seconds. But we lost the audio. But yeah, I will give that a pass. Uh, we reduced the video time from uh, around 10 seconds to around 5. So I guess we got it here. But uh, yeah, like I said, we lost the audio. But I would still say the challenge was completed. Okay, so the final challenge is just going to be to edit an image. So we're just going to find our working directory, find a file we want to edit, crop it, and change this to black and white. So let me just skip the first part here. Okay, so here we have our file. So the file we want to target is this a1.png, right? So I'm just going to try use PyCode to crop the file 50%. So we're just going to pill. Okay, so let's open it and see now. Okay, so we have crop. And yeah. Perfect, so you can see we 50%, so that looked good. So let's try to change it to black and white then. So great, use Pyco to change the color of the cropped image to black and white. Yeah, so we kind of knows the name, good, so let's try this. So let's open this one. So use code to open the black and white image. Yay! Okay, great. So that worked pretty good. So yeah, you can kind of edit images too by using this. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I would say that's all for challenges pretty much completed. 
So yeah, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you today. I found this very helpful in trying to learn instructions I can give to like an AI model. Remember, I am using kind of a weak model there, Mistral 7B. If you turn on the API here and you use GPT-4, of course you will get better results. But I kind of like it to have a bit tough, kind of worked on my instructions. And yeah, I just enjoy doing this. If you kind of want a, a custom team color I have set up here, just let me know in the comments. And I will probably put this on the community GitHub. So you can just join by following the link in the description and become a member and you will get access to that. But other than that, thank you for tuning in. I hope you can learn something from this too. So yeah, I'll see you again on Sunday. And don't forget to check out the free ebook from HubSpot.